<laughs> well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Well, I'm on something slightly different today and uh, yeah, I must say I'm very privileged, very, very privileged today to be out on this, this, uh, well, let's just say, it's not the usual sort of uh, machine and performance that I'll be out on, but I'll tell you what, I've, I've, I've just been out for the last 10 minutes off camera and I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely, and I'm not lying here, I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoying this ride on this thing. And what this is, <laughs> oh, the, brake, the brakes aren't as good, good as what I'm used to. I've just been laughing, honestly, I've just been laughing for the last, I would say, 10 minutes since I got on this. It is a Tsukida, Tsukida, not Suzuki. It's a Tsukida <laughs> SK125. This bike, I tell you what, I haven't laughed so much in a long while. Oh, what's that like on the? <laughs> I've got to go really easy on this thing. It's a, it's, yeah, it's a four, it's a four cylinder, it's a single cylinder. Uh, it's about eight brake horsepower. This thing. I've just been told by the owner, which I'm very, very thankful for the, uh, the lovely owner to uh, let me take this out and, it, and experience the ride on this thing. And uh, joking aside, now joking aside. My first impressions ride on the Tsukida SK125. Yeah, it's not got the performance of the, uh, you know, the the Street Triple or the GSXR <laughs> Thousand R. Obviously not. But it's got all the trimmings, all the tricks and trimmings on this thing. I mean, admittedly, you, you know, forget Euro Five and all that. You, you have to turn the lights on on this thing. You know, with this lovely switch gear here. Stay there, bus. Oh, it's popping and banging. <laughs> well, yeah, the switch gear is beautiful. And these indicators, listen to this. You'll never leave them on. You don't need self cancelling indicators. You're not going to leave them on, are you? In a hurry. What's the horn like? <laughs> right, then the owner's actually stuck his Rolex watch. I think it's a Rolex. Well, maybe not a Rolex, but he's stuck his watch on the handlebars there. And is it the right time? What we got there? Yes! Look at that! Perfect! Yep, no, there's no TFT, there's no LCD on this. Nope. The old traditional dials. Yep, this is a proper uh, traditional motorcycle. Absolutely brilliant. I believe it's got a little gear indicator up there as well, which I can't really... Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that. I'm in top gear. Let's just go down to fourth gear. Yeah, I can see that, a treat. A little bit of sun glare on there, but nothing to worry about. This bike has done 3,213 kilometres. So it's, it's barely even run in this thing. This bike is 13 years old. 13 years old, can you believe that? And this bike looks, and I'm not, I'm not, I'll give you a walk around in a minute. This bike looks brand new. This was registered in 2008. And it's done, like I say, 3,213 kilometres, not miles, kilometres. And it's, it, it's a beauty. You don't need to be going, I better pull over a bit, let the old traffic pass. Or waving past. Come on, sir. Come by the motorcycle. <laughs> I've done that for years. Been overtaken doing 40 mile an hour on a motorcycle. But it's not all about the speed. That's not, it really isn't. It's about the, the feel, you know, the freedom of the motorcycle. And I'll tell you what, I'd, I, I would have one. I would definitely have one. If they're still available, I don't know if you, even know if you could buy one of these now, let alone spares. Should you have an issue? Yeah, you can't go down the road on this thing doing 60, 70 mile an hour, I don't think, anyway. I'm not gonna go mad on it. Like I say, it's not my bike anyway. It's not my bike, so. One thing I did notice on this on the way here is it just kept pulling up outside the Chinese shop. <laughs> Not quite sure what that was all about, but yeah, it just kept pulling up outside the local Chinese shop. <laughs> the Chinese is closed. <laughs> I don't know if it was after some spares, maybe, or maybe a chicken chow mein. I don't know. <laughs> but honestly, I've not laughed so much in a long while. And I'm going to take you around this bike. I'm going to take you for a little walk around this bike. We're going to pull over. We're going to pull over, just find a lovely little spot. 
not to cause too much bother and I'm going to walk you around this lovely motorcycle yeah there's no Brembo's on this I'm afraid so you have to kind of bear that in mind the stop and power is not you know not bad it's not bad I must say right let's turn on turn off in here next to this lovely windmill <laughs> you're definitely not going to leave those indicators on are you morning everybody looking at my lovely bike all right let's have a look oh better turn that off <laughs> nice and easy to find neutral there nice and easy no problems whatsoever so yeah right let's jump off this bike <sighs> and i'll give you a walk around side stand it's got a center stand on here as well <sighs> right then <laughs> right so here we have it <laughs> the Sakida SK125-4 oh it's the, called the Commissioner the Commissioner and look at that I mean that, that to me looks brand new brand new lovely looking bike lovely looking bike that yeah he's been polishing the chrome polishing the chrome up on it absolutely lovely what's it like from the front <coughs> yeah not bad not bad what's he done here he's tie wrapped his little cicada oh badge on there yeah i see we don't want to be losing that do we <laughs> oh i just noticed it's got a nice little bronze uh colored cover on the oh it's electric start as well look at that electric start it's got the old style fuel tap because it's got a uh, carb in there it's not fuel injected this thing very nice nice and comfortable there for the for the passenger on the rear here and you've also got you've also got uh your, your, your room here for your chinese on the back yeah not a bad little bike everyone's looking at it they want it <laughs> yeah there's no led lights on this at all no led lighting your standard lighting alloy wheels by the look of it well that's enough about that I, I want to jump back on this thing I want to jump back on and ride yeah started up again no problems at all by the kick start it has got electric start but oh it's just died on me there here we go nice and nimble lovely turning circle there right here we go on the twisties oh in the neutral red lines at 10,000 rpm well we're not going to be doing that today <laughs> what's it like around these twisties hopefully I won't end up in the hedge I'm loving this I'm loving it Well, here we go, on the twisties. <laughs> Let's see how this baby performs. First impressions of this bad boy is, uh, yeah, you can't grumble at all. You can't grumble. Need to go a little bit easy. Don't want to end up uh, ditching her. What's she like to hang off? Well, hey! <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. I tell you what, I, I actually haven't seriously laughed as much for a long while on the bike as I have sitting on this thing for the last 10-15 minutes. Oh, well, this is a favourite. What's she going to... Hey! <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Lovely and comfortable, this as well. Lovely and comfortable. Nice riding position. Be nice uh, for, for the rock chick on the back. She'd be very comfortable on the back. It's actually really comfortable. You could probably sit on this all day without any issues. A little bit of hornage. When you open this thing up and you get to a certain revs, I think it's about 7,000 and it starts spluttering. I think that's letting, letting you know that it needs to go uh, go to the Chinese. Where are you taking me now? Come on, I need to go home. Oh, all right. 
Come on, enough's enough now. Oh, enough's enough. Oh, all right, what time does that open? Oh. Four o'clock, okay, we'll come back. We'll come back at four o'clock. Okay, enough's enough now. I need to go home. Right, oh. Jesus. I need some more chow mein. Just keeping you in check, really. Oh, come on, come on. Just about got past them before the car. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Can't moan at all. Lovely visibility through them mirrors. These mirrors here. I can't see my shoulders or my elbows at all. What a perfect day for this little excursion on the Sakida SK. 125 Commissioner This bike's about 8 brake horsepower I think So uh, Just goes to show you can have Plenty of fun You don't need the 200 plus brake horsepower bikes Or even 100 Get your, get your scrawny ass on one of these Yeah This bike has been highly looked after Highly maintained Nice little ride out of Waxham What a lovely view we've got here as well Gorgeous. It's actually quite a, like a, I don't know, a bit cruiser like. If you had the foot pegs a bit further forward, it'd be a right, right proper uh, easy rider. Can I get past the push bike? Might have to knock it down one. Come on. Hey! No issues there with the overtake of the push bike. Brilliant. Very good on fuel, I should think, this thing as well. Can't quote you any figures, but it's probably about 250, 300 miles a <laughs> gallon. No, I don't know, I don't know. A little bit revvy through the foot pegs, but as expected. Not too bad at all around these twisty little bends. Very nimble. Probably doesn't weigh too much either. Come on. You gotta mind I don't hit the foot pegs on the road. Another couple of fellow bikers ahead, see if I can catch them up on the Sakida SK125. Drop it down a peg. Here we go. Brilliant. Come on. This takes me back to my uh, my days on the learner bikes, 50 cc's, 125s. Like I say, if you ever, you know, you should really, if you're not already into the biking biking game, consider 25 as a learner or 50, and experience the freedom of motorcycling. Nothing better, nothing better. Oh, better ease off a little bit. All you want to do in the, on this thing is just lean back and enjoy the ride. It's all you want to do. Perfect. Perfect. No show of suspension on there, on this, on the front or the rear, or um, Olin's. <laughs> Listen to that indicator, you would not need that on. You don't need self-cancelling indicators when you've got a, an indicator alarm like that. I'll tell you what else this has got, and I'm sold, I'm sold by this, is, if you look on here, you see this here? There's a picture of a mobile phone there with a little light beside it. Now, if anyone's trying to call you on your mobile phone, that light flashes to say you've got a call incoming. Not that you can answer the call, answer the phone, but unless you've got a hands for, uh, a headset, but how good is that? How good is that? 
and all this modern technology we've got nothing like that at the moment and this is 13 years old this bike 13 years old and it's even got a mobile phone indicator light I'm telling you to get back home <laughs> Yeah. Where do I sign? Where do I sign, sir? Like I say, you don't need all that power. This is such a leisurely ride out today. It's enjoyable. You know, you're not going to come to much bother on this, are you? You're not going to end up uh, at license losing speeds. Well, you, you could, maybe in a 30 or 20. But overall, you can come out on the Cicada take in the countryside and enjoy yourself and if you want to get you know to wind it up that little bit more I'll show you what to do in a minute you can get a little bit more speed out of this should you want to when you've had enough of the scenery or you know you want that added <laughs> um, speed to get you home I'll show you what you do One of the tricks I learned, you know, when I was uh, learning to ride bikes. Right, so what you do, you get your ass back, you get your head down. Look how aerodynamic you are now, look. You're not going to get better. And you can see the speed coming up. And I'm not even full throttle. Probably going to get some funny looks, but I don't care. The sooner we get back to that Chinese, the better. Head down, ass up. You can probably see my shreddies out the back poking out the top of my trousers the Kevlar jeans oh yeah I've got all my gear on as well I've got the, jet, the Kevlar jeans the city boots leather jacket lovely and warm and cosy on the Cicada SK125 this is going to take some beating I don't even know really what this where you would even buy one of these now can you even buy one of these because there isn't any local dealers around around this area anyway you know can you get any spares for these you know you might have to make things up in the garage or in the shed for, uh, for spares but I've certainly not had any problems with this today and I love the colour let's talk about the bodywork look at the colour that lovely finish on that tank there for a budget bike this is a perfect learner bike. Absolutely perfect. Let's see if we can get the knee down on the corner here. Hold on. Can you hear it? Yeah, all right. Knee down on the corner there. In the Kevlar's. <laughs> now, all jokes aside though, all joking aside, I'm very impressed with this. I'm very impressed. Been meaning to take this out for a long while. Thanks to the owner, much appreciated for the loan of this bike this afternoon. For me to experience the Cicada and bring you this review today. Like I say, this bike is 13 years old and is still going strong. It's first registered in 2008. That is, tw that is 13, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, still looks as good as new probably got a couple of scaffold poles for front forks but who cares you just got to go easy take it easy enjoy the scenery and make the most of it be I mean, nice in the summer so it's not that warm today actually it's not that warm this has got no electronic aids at all nothing pure raw power on the right hand No rider aids, just a single cylinder. Single, single cylinder. I think it's about eight brake horsepower. Like I say, you don't need any more than that, just for the, for enjoyment. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review so far. There's more to come. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing because you never know what's coming to the channel. Plenty more reviews of various uh, machines, new bikes, 
used bikes maybe Oh, he's chucking up a lot of shy, but I'm not going to go for the overtake manoeuvre because I don't feel confident that I've got enough power. But I'm happy. I'm happy. Like I say, you're not going to come to too much bother on this. No Euro 5 with this thing. You have to physically turn the lights on yourself. So you've got your horn, your indicators. Oh, there you go. That's high beam, that's low beam on your lights, you push that up. Kill switch there. A bit Christmas cracker like, but what do you expect for a budget bike? <laughs> you just sort of sit back into this and relax and enjoy the scenery. Might have to go for the overtake manoeuvre. See if it's doable on the Sakita. Oh, splattering a little bit there to tell you it's doable. We're slowly getting past. Come on. Nice and easy. we roll off back down to the 30s. What a perfect day for this today, hey? Well, anyway, I really do hope you've enjoyed the, the little review on the bike and hopefully you'll join me on the next video. Um, yeah, consider getting yourself a nice little learner bike and getting at the biking scene. You won't be disappointed. Take care. See ya. Where's, where's this bike going? Hey! Hey! What the hell? No, we can't stop at the Hong Kong Chinese! Oh, God! Bloody hell! Oh, dear. Oh, so close. Oh. Now look what you've done. Look <laughs> where you've taken me. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't believe this. To come back to the bike, noodles, chow mein, and sweet and sour sauce. Can't be left, can't be trusted. <laughs>